Hi, I'm Lee Donovan of I Choose Bikes, and I'm here at Sky Park in Lake Arrowhead, California. I'm here to teach you the most important foundational mountain bike skills that you should know to help you move from the passenger seat into the pilot seat. So let's get started. Bike and body separation. Think of it as your ABCs of mountain biking, where you're gonna to learn to create traction and balance and so much more. I'm gonna teach you four skills that I go over in my classes, which is the neutral riding position, the ready riding position, the neutral back, which is the manual position, and the side to side movement, which you'll use on off cambers and in corners. If you're still interested, Let's get started. So the first three body positions I'm going to teach you, you're going to want to use the level pedal technique, which is your lead pedal will be at three o'clock and your back pedal will be at nine o'clock, regardless of what pedal you like to have forward. Here I'm going to lock myself in, just so it's a little easier for you to see the body position. I'm going to have level pedals. I'm going to stand into the neutral riding position. You're going to want to use the mantra, heavy feet, light hands. That's going to really help you drive the bike from your feet first and not your hands. The ability to master lowering your center of gravity will really help you be a safer mountain biker. Now I'm going to lower myself into the ready position. You're going to use ready when you're getting ready for something. This isn't a position you wanna spend a lot of time in. It's actually very difficult to hold. But the neutral position where your arms are more straight and your legs are more straight, it's a lot easier to hold this position. And you should be riding in this position a lot more than you're riding and ready. And the last level pedal body position I like to teach is the neutral back position. And you can see my legs are kind of straight. They're not 100% straight, but my arms are straight. This position is used when you're learning to do the manual. And again, this is a position that is also fluid, much like the ready position. You're gonna move in and out of this position. You're not gonna stay in this position for a long period of time. So that's it for the level pedal bike and body separation positions. So now we're gonna learn what side to side is or outside pedal down. I like to use outside pedal down technique for cornering. So I teach this in all my classes. Um, this pedal, my right pedal is gonna be down at six o'clock and my upper pedal, my inside pedal will be at 12 o'clock. Here, I'm gonna use this tree so I can show you a static example of what it will look like when you're trying to use this out on the trail, whether it's cornering, climbing out of the saddle or uh, riding uh, off camera. So here I'm gonna get myself into position. I'm gonna give myself a little more lean. And now you can see how the bike is leaning and my body is stabilizing. My right hand and my right foot, those are pretty heavy. That's allowing the bike to do the leaning. And my inside hand, I can lift the three fingers off of the grip. So you don't wanna to be too weighted on the inside, which allows the bike to kind of have that free movement back and forth. Ah! <laughs> now again, have that foot down at six o'clock. Your hands are on the brakes if you're gonna practice this statically. And then you're gonna kind of just be able to play around and understand that the body is doing the stabilizing, as you can see, and the bike is doing the separation. So something that you're gonna wanna play around with, it's not something that, ooh, miraculously you're gonna get it, but utilizing that outside pedal down or the side to side separation movements will really be helpful when you're riding corners, when you're riding off camber, even when you're out of the saddle pedaling up steep climbs. So that's it for side to side, outside pedal down movement. And uh, now you have your fourth skill. All right, so now that you've learned the four key areas of bike and body separation, look at my other videos to help you apply them out on the trail. I hope these were helpful and I hope you got something from it. Thanks for watching and happy trails.